So, Hakane, what car would you be using? Your Seth? The new way that Ketsui made? Esperit. Hmm? I'll race with my Lotus Esperit. The one I overhauled myself. It's not that I doubt Keske's skills, it's just that in a race like this, we want to believe in our own skills and not rely on others too much. Don't you want a different win at this? Ketsui tuned those cars for that purpose. It doesn't matter. There won't be any regrets. Besides, I know you'll use that cop card you modded yourself too. You won't use the Evo X he upgraded. Hey, he had some bottom tuning at GDO. But most of it was done by you, right? You just further proved my point. <laughs> God, do you know how hard it is to drive with that car that is full packed with four people? The driving? You're racing those two benches for crying out loud. Who are you to run alone? You two are noisy! Yay, please pipe down. You said, just beat these locals and get to that exit already. So this is Osaka, huh? The Kanjo area seems pretty simple. The speed to get there, and the number of lines you can take, possibilities are endless at that section. But not all lines are ideal. And the Wanga and Sakai area seems hard to pass to. It's like a tighter Yokohane, but harder. We've been waiting for you, Tomogashi Kitsumura. Oh, forgot the formalities. You know me and Kane. This is Ketsui Yamamoto. He owns this tuning shop and is a well-known tuner here in Osaka. The one on his side is Sentoki Ishii, officer from the Osaka Kanjo's Metropolitan Police Department. It's nice to meet you both. There won't be any casualties in this race, right? Don't worry, we have planned out how the race goes. From here, Tomo can warm up the car up to the Kanjo area. He'll then make a turn heading for Wangan. And that is where he'll face me. Keisuke said something that you're a guild member too. So, you're um, 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 what again? I forgot. Bishop. I'm the bishop of the clan. <laughs> bishop! Bishop! <laughs> bishop! Bishop as tuner, so and here I was picturing the bishop who has a huge afro wearing the usual police getup, but has a thing for little boys and looks like Mojo Jojo. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up already! As if I wanted this to happen. I wanted the Rook Elias. There, I said it. But I had to stick with this, so get over it. <laughs> yes, boss. So Tomo will face Kutsui San first? Yeah. By the time he sees the first of three Osaka bridges, Ishii comes next. He'll race Tomo until Sakai 15's exit. From there, Rakane will be waiting at the toll for Tomo's heart to arrive. Then they commence at that point from Sakai back to Kanjo. Once we get to Kanjo, I'll hand him over to Kesuke. So, all of you will come out one at a time and it'll be a four-way battle at the Kanjo area? The only objective Tomo has for each of us is to maintain his lead before the end of each section where he'll have to face both. Don't worry, we're not gullible or stupid enough to risk our lives just for this. It isn't the Awakening's goal to obliterate our beloved Chosen One. <laughs> our task as a guild is to test if he's fit to raise the king at our full potential. The revolution begins when this is over. So I just have to lead then. Hmm? Get ready, Tomo. No mercy from here on out. I'm not letting you get away that easily. This hour of yours has been reinforced, 
so expect it to feel a bit more rigid. We switch your exhaust with one that measures a 12mm diameter for more air intake. Not to mention it's made of carbon titanium. Peak horsepower increased to 10 HP, more from the exhaust. You feel the change in the engine too. I won't tell you where we made some work, but simply expect it to top out faster. I don't know if you either made this R better or worse, Mr. Yamamoto. But if Case Cap believes in your prowess, then so shall I. Good for him to keep up. We're about to enter the S curve section of this part of the land again. Make sure you keep your balance, kid. This part of the Wangen soon compromises the set of continuous S-curves. This 80, which happens to be my FR demo car, is built for that purpose alone. To dominate coring speed and acceleration. From mid to low speed RPMs, this Supra is definitely the finest. I want to see you try. A place like this doesn't only rely on the car's suspension. The driver's tactful approach to each corner is the most essential part. The steering feels rigid for some reason. Is it the body's rigidity? Or is it the spring rate and the tendency of pitch and roll? After a short period of time, the rigidity would stabilize and the body will accept the warp effect and induce it to oversteer more. You'll force less a grip on the steering wheel at that point. But you had to keep your speeds up and not concentrate on the proper cornering line. All aspects, acceleration, shifting, braking, and cornering will take place on every corner or straightway you approach. Racing is a complex process of endless multitasking. It will test both your physical and mental capability. This 80 seems to be well balanced. But just looking at him from behind, it's not only his car, but the way he drives it too. He has full control over it. How much power is it making? 600? 700? 800? Even on low speeds, it's still fast. Probably the only chance I have is on corner exit as usual. The GTR's differential ratio is leaning more towards the rear, if I remember Keisuke mentioning it. Better yet, I make use of that setup. I see. So that's why Katsuke wanted the differential ratio to be at a 35 to 65 setup. It's a setting that nullifies the ETS system without damaging the system itself. The rear tires will force itself to change its wheel direction once the rear tends to slide, but the rate of the movement is negligible, and only enough to prevent it from burning faster. I've worked on a couple of GTRs myself. But never have I seen an FR setup work this good for such a heavy 4WD. A professional always goes for the trial and error measure to test the car's maximum potential. I have yet to use all of this 80's output, but I'm satisfied. Probably because I have love for each car I modify. I don't want to see them go to waste and simply die out. Just make sure you don't reach that point for the remaining three.